All right, so this roster has a bold claim of being the best roster out there. I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. I kind of hope this one is not flooded with X-Factors like the last one, but I don't know. I guess it's kind of cool. Honestly, these stipulations keep getting just more obscure and random, but I'm kind of down. I was trying to think of a video idea, and this is literally the process of my brain. I said, who's my favorite player? Ovechkin. What does Ovechkin do a lot of? Scores goals. What does he not do every game? Score multiple goals. And then we do a lot of, you know, if this happens, we'll trade. So I decided that instead we're going to do a bit of a different stipulation where the line has to change. That could be through a trade or just simply by moving the lines around. And I know what you're thinking based off that. Can I just move players down and then when he does it again, move them back up? No. Once a player has been on his line and he got multiple goals, they can never be on his line again. However, it only goes one player at a time. So... Basically, I can move the centerman, or I could move the other winger, and that will still count. So I guess to summarize, every time Ovechkin gets a multi-goal game, the line has to change in at least one way. I can move one player, I could move both if I want to, but if I do that, then those two players can never be on the line again. Once a player leaves his line, they cannot play with Ovechkin again. I'm gonna break out the, the trusty notepad here so that I can write down players just in case. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for this roster. I don't know what to expect. It might be good. Maybe it is the best roster out there. Who who knows? Maybe it is not false advertising. I'm not going to count the preseason. You guys should know by now that I do not care about the preseason in the slightest. So right now it wants over chicken playing with Kuzi and Oshi. That is a very good first line. I'm not sure why they moved Tim Winston down to the third line here. Oh, maybe that's why. Well, okay, I'm going to move him there. Put Mantha there. That makes sense because then we got left and right handed there. Okay. But this becomes an issue. We're set to roll three lines, so I'll just leave this last line at a dash one. It is what it is, you know? Defensively, we got Orlov playing with Carlson, Jensen with Marty, and then we got Gustafsson playing with TVR. Now, as the Caps did lose both Samsonov and Vanacek, they ended up signing Darcy Kemper. They went kind of all in there. It was a little risky, but I think it paid off. Darcy Kemper, very solid goaltender. I also don't know the best way to see if Ovechkin got a multi-goal game. I'm just gonna live sim every game and kind of spam through the periods and that way we can see you know I think that should be the easiest way without having to back out of the calendar so without further ado let's get it started here first oh my word what just happened probably not the best first period to start an NHL season but we'll let it slide and we lose 6-2 Ovechkin got one but that's it also we're gonna have to play a little bit of the trust system here because I'm not gonna commentate over every single game that will just take forever I gotta fly through some of these so far we have Connor Brown the fourth liner with a dash one, the only player to score in the first period. We get Corey Perry scoring again, and then Nick Paul just to put the icing on the cake. Darcy Kemper going against his former team here in Colorado. 1-1, one, one. we get a goal from, what is going on? Hello, can we get a goal from our first line, please? Kuzi scored and nothing from Ovi. Oh my word. That is quite the first period. We got one goal from Ovechkin, but New Jersey got fourth. We are, what? like, why are we so bad? What's going on here? Second period, all right. Will Ovechkin get a third period goal? He will. So that means his line must change. And he also scored on Vanacek. I think what I'm gonna do is move Timothy Jimothy off the line. So now Ovechkin can never play on a line with Timothy Jimothy ever again. Ever. Even if the Washington Capitals do it in real life, they are gonna receive a very distressed email from me. Or maybe a letter. A letter might get the trick done. One period, one goal from Tom Wilson. Second period, we get a goal from Dowd. And third period, we get a goal from Coleman. It is a tie game here, heading to overtime. Kadri will put the nail in the coffin. Definitely is not the fastest way to get through a season, but we got one goal from Ovi there, and it looks like that will be it. He only put up one, three stars at the game. Wow, Ovi is just, he's not doing too well, I'm gonna be honest. This might have been better suited for Matthews, but I feel like I do videos with the Leafs quite a bit. Maybe not, could be making that up. But anyway, why are we getting destroyed so bad? What is wrong with us? We got one goal in the third period. But that's about it for Ovi in that one. Ovechkin scored in the shootout. That doesn't count, by the way. That absolutely does not count. But yeah, there's his uh, shootout goal. And other than that, nothing from Ovi again in regular play. We're absolutely getting rinsed out here. What is going on, Washington? Yet another disappointing end to an overtime. Buffalo's doing all right so far. Not great, but all right. We get a goal from Ovi on Comrie in the first period. That's a good start. Henestroza will score. 
in the second period. Orlov and Hathaway will score in the third. Honestly, this is probably taking about as long as the trade ones do because the trades take forever to try and find a good trade and actually get it to go through that is sort of worth doing. 8-1 to Detroit, Washington. I get they had a good offseason, but holy crap, they've bullied us twice now. 7-2 and 8-1. Will we finally win in overtime? We will. Oshi and Ovi gonna score in the shootout. And that is the only goal we will see from Ovi in this one. I am really surprised. I thought he'd be scoring a lot more than this. I'm gonna go ahead and blame the roster. There it is. Against Crosby, he's gonna score, obviously. Ooh, we get one from Kuzi, one from Jensen, and one from Shiri. Third period, they almost came back. We only saw one from Ovi in that game, though. Nope. Still nothing. I guess we're only 17 games into the season. That's still quite a lot. You know, I'd expect Ovi to have two multi-goal games by now, not just one. All right, he got one. Will he get a third period goal? No, he won't. Maybe he picks it up as the season goes on. I don't know. He very typically gets like seven, not 70. No, he does not. He very typically gets close to you know, the 45 to 50 goal range. And I feel like this is one of his weaker sims. I don't think he's going to get even close to that. He got one in this game, but that's it. I could be out of my mind, but I think Connor Brown has more goals than him right now. There it is. First period, he puts in two past Bobrovsky. So the line will have to change again. A second period hat trick from Duclair. Hello? And then Ovi gets two more, but it doesn't matter. We only have to make one line move. Four goals in that game though. That's huge. Never mind. He has 13 goals. I'm probably just expecting a lot more than I should be. I have now placed Backstrom on the line and taken Kuznetsov off. So he will now be off of Ovechkin's line permanently. Actually, I guess he did just have a four goal game though. So he was only at nine before this. Nine goals in 21 games. Is that sort of on pace? I can't really tell. I guess it's kind of good though. We don't want him scoring every single game because that's just going to be too much. He got one in this matchup and we still took home the W. Sveshnikov almost clutched it out there for Carolina, but no. Remember when I said I wasn't going to commentate over every single game? Yeah, I think I've missed one so far. To be fair, I feel like Connor Brown is kind of lighting it up, especially considering he's on the fourth line. Why? We were winning one nothing after two periods and then we get dusted in the third i just might have to make a trade for this next one there we go 2-2 two, two, headed to ot Ooh, oh, another ot loss shocker one in the second period mantha has a multi-goal game can you match him ovi oh he still has a chance still has a chance ah okay not gonna happen even if he scores in the shootout it don't matter all periods he got one. Oh wait no mantha didn't have a multi-goal game wilson got okay Wow, I'm tripping apparently. Don't mind me, I'm just out here losing my mind. At this pace, I feel like we're gonna have the most overtime losses in the entire league, which I'll, you know, that's a stat. It's definitely a stat. Is that a hat trick for Olafson? Nope, Samuelson got one. Yo, boys, we reek. What is this performance from the Washington Capitals? That's two from Ovi. He got one in the first and one now in the second, and he did not complete the hat trick, but nonetheless, he did get two. I guess it doesn't even have to be when he gets a multi-goal game. I can really trade whenever and then just move them onto his line once he gets a multi-goal game. So maybe I should consider doing that soon. For now, might just bring Strom up. He's 24. Might be good for him, you know? I've changed my mind. Mantha is getting put on the first line. He gets a plus three up there now. That's huge. I'm just curious to see what it would be. Okay, it's still three. They don't really make a difference. They're basically the same player except two overall difference. And on that note, Wilson is no longer allowed to be on Ovi's line. Oh no. Four goals in the first period on 13 shots. What is Kemper doing? I feel like he's getting pulled every other game. There's one and there's two. Okay, that's another multi-goal game from your boy. I'm going to move Backstrom down to the third line and bring Strom up. At this point, it's been four multi-goal games, aka four line changes. However, it does not seem to matter what our lines are. We suck regardless. He ended up getting one in the third period, but that's about it for this game. We got Connor Brown scoring again. I might just have to give this guy a promotion. I might have to move Connor Brown up to Ovi's line next. Nice little shutout there from Darcy Kemper. Two goals on Lankinen in the second period. So that will be another line maneuver. Are we going to lose an OT again? You bet we are. So I'm taking off Mantha. I'm going to put Connor Brown there. Let's see how this goes. He's a two-way forward, but guy's putting up points for some reason. I don't know why. Can't quite put my finger on it, but he he's doing it. Okay, I shuffled the lines a little bit, but oh, who did I just take off? It was Mantha. Okay, we're all good. I just need to mark that down so I don't forget. I was just about to say, is there any big players on the block? John Klingberg right there hops out at me instantly. Apparently, we'll be over the maximum salary cap for next year. How? How does that even make 
make sense. And if I try to retain cap, that won't work either. I don't want to give up a third if we're going to be going this route. So we'll get Klingberg and Strawman in exchange for Oshi and Eller, which I mean, I don't know how I feel about this one right here. Klingberg is good. He would beef our defense up and clearly we need it. Oh, this is such a bad trade. I don't care. I'm going to try it anyway. Proposed trade. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm done with you. Carl Haglund's making 2.6 and he is like zero overall. Like I'm totally willing to just get rid of this guy. I'll try a fifth. I don't think that'll work. They're probably going to say you're an idiot. Oh, okay. Well, let's try to find someone that wants him and actually has the roster space for him. Apparently everybody wants this guy, which is very weird. Fifth round pick. Okay, come. can we stop? I'm not sure why that was the biggest stutter in the world, but I'm just blown away by, are, like, really? Okay, this has to work. 43 out of 50 contracts. There is absolutely no way. I'll take a sixth at this point. I don't care. They probably, oh, yeah, okay. You can say that you're big brain all you want. Aha, now this will go through one for one. And I am more than willing to add a draft pick. I'll give you a third. That still might not go through, but we'll try it. Oshi for Klingberg, getting a good defenseman back. He's a right-handed defenseman, getting rid of Timothy Jimothy. Guy has a bunch of abilities, but pretty low overall. Okay, let's try it out. Proposed trade, not quite what we needed. I've tried to sneak in a next year's fourth. And that makes it go through. All right. I think at this point, I'm just going to wait till the trade deadline to make any more moves. What about Tatar? Maybe. Let's see. He's only 81 overall. So on second thought, big time scratch that. Paula might be a relatively easy pickup though. Just looking at our defenseman here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can afford to get rid of one of our defensemen. Maybe I'll get rid of, that wasn't English. I could get rid of Nick Jensen. He's 81 overall, and we'd be getting 82 Eric Howla in return, who can be a center slash left wing. He's got 81 face-offs, not bad. It's sort of like a replacement for Oshi, I guess. Not really, but you know what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and propose trade. They accept it. Nice. Now, obviously, none of these players can play on Ovi's line. Eric Howla's getting sent straight to the fourth line. I feel pretty bad, but we got Strom and Brown, which I am pretty sure was the line before. I think it was. Defensively, now we got a plus two on the second line of Klingberg's there. We could do one and one, but then we'd have two righties on the same pair. So maybe it's better to have Klingberg on the second pair. He's a top four defenseman anyway. That kind of fits. Yeah, we'll keep him on the second pair for now. And on that note, we can finally get back to simming where we're probably still going to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, never mind. We have had a complete turn. There's one from Ovi, another from Mantha, and another from Ovi. So the line has to change. Okay, we're starting to run out of options here. I might bring Shiri up. Yeah, that gets a plus two, surprisingly. So Connor Brown is now banished from playing on Ovechkin's line. Are you kidding me? This guy is just turning it up to the next level all of a sudden. Another W for the Washington Capitals as well. So now, have to change the lines again. Strom is no longer allowed to play with Ovechkin. That's my decision. Eric Howla will be the new first line center. At this rate, I'm gonna have to make trades. We're running out of options, to be honest with you. He got our only goal, but it was only one. I guess that's what only goal means. Okay, I'm gonna do a bunch of games here. He has 28 goals. So I'm just basically showing that to you guys as a reference because I'm not really gonna be talking over the next few games unless he does get two, but we'll see what happens. I guess showing you that he has 28 doesn't really do much because he could just be getting one goal every game and have quite a bit but I don't know you guys are just gonna have to trust me on this one Klingberg with a goal fire me up there it is second period he gets two against the Boston Bruins I was literally just about to say too that he's kind of cooled down a little bit Shiri has been removed Lars Eller has been added. There's one. Second period, no goals. Third period, nothing from Ovi. Connor Brown with two power play goals and Howla got a power play goal as well. We're kind of starting to crawl our way back up the standing, so that's nice. Howla with a nice goal and we get blown out of the water. Well, I guess 5-2 isn't really blown out of the water, but I feel like by giving Ovi 82 overall line mates, I have accidentally stopped him from scoring. And he's kind of stuck with that line until he gets two goals, which he did not in this one. I think Mantha got two as well. Well, I don't mean as well, but I think Mantha got two, speaking of two, and then Ovi got one. Our last game before the trade deadline will be against the Metropolitan Rivals here, the Carolina Hurricanes, or better known as the Bunch of Jerks. We don't get a goal from Ovi, and we get one in the second on Freddy, and in the third, we get nothing. I'm gonna say that we're a buyer because I want to try to get new players here that can play with Ovi. Blake Wheeler is not one of them, I don't think. I mean, he would be nice, but that contract, oh, okay, I thought it was gonna find a trade for us. I was about to be blown away, but no. Boone Jenner, nothing found. Voracek, probably nothing there either. No. Varlamov, oh, oh, I don't want that. 
Oh, you're kidding me. I don't think I want to accept any of these. Good thing it's not in all trades accepted. We can get one for Kirby Doc. It is two seconds and Bjorkland. Yeah, we'll accept that, sure. Although it's not the best trade in the world because we are losing one overall, at least Vitrano can play on Ovi's line. So I am going to try to push this through with a fourth. Oh, wow, they are just flabbergasted that we would even send that. We at least have two new players from this trade deadline that can be added to Ovi's line. So we're just gonna have to run with that for now and hope for the best. Actually, we might be able to get Blake Wheeler here for Nick Backstrom one for one. Let's give it the good old fashioned try. Trade accepted. All right, we got Blake Wheeler just like that. I'm just trying to remember here. So I know that he was playing, it was, it was Howla and Eller, right? Was his line mates. All right, our team has been changed up. We now have Blake Wheeler playing on the second line with Kuzi and Mantha. And it looks like Kirby Doc is scratched. I don't about all that oh never mind he's just in the AHL yeah I don't think so call him up immediately he somehow hurts line chemistry but I don't care he's staying there regardless what if I uh no I don't care keeping it as dash one dash one how will the first game with the new squad go Vitrano gets two that's a good start for him on a new team and that will be the game I was just thinking we could do something like if a player gets a hat trick but I don't think that happens too often Ovi just got two goals which means the line has to change yep that's gonna be the maneuver. Blake Wheeler will be on the first line now, and I think I'm gonna move you up. Eller kind of really throws that off, apparently, but that should work. Vitrano, he's getting points. He got two goals, so I'm gonna keep him. Eller just went from first line to fourth line, just like that. Oh, I just realized if we make playoffs, we probably have to do it there too, which I really don't want to do, and we might run out of players, to be honest. We have to start calling people up from the AHL but maybe not. Oh, big W. We got two goals from Blake Wheeler in that one and a shorty from Kirby Doc. What a legend. I can see the end. We're almost there. The Rangers will be the final game. We got Nashville now who gets two in the first period. We get two in the second and they will beat us with a total score of four to two. We get one from Ovi in the second period and that will be it from him. But nonetheless, Good showing from the Capitals all around. Another goal from Ovi in the second period and a goal in the third period. So the line will be changed. I think I'm going to take Howla off and put Kirby Duck on that first line center position. I want to try doing everything in my power to keep Blake Wheeler and Ovi together. All right, that's a strong second period and a big dub. Ovi gets two in the first period against the Flyers, so that means Kirby Doc is out of there. Frank Vitrano, you can play center, right? Come on, you gotta have 65. Okay, Blake Wheeler's actually better suited in the dot, but Vitrano shoots left, and I'd rather have a right-handed person. Okay, we're just gonna have 65 face-offs on the first line. Not a big deal. I genuinely have no idea what my next move is gonna be, though. That's a big first period, but only one goal from Ovi, but he gets another one in the second period. Didn't complete the hat trick but that is still a multi-goal game. I think the only player that I can actually move onto his line from this roster is Garnett Hathaway. So congrats, you're now a centerman apparently. 65 face-offs, good enough for me. This could be another multi-goal game for him. No, but a great third period comeback. This guy really wants the Rocket Richard all of a sudden. Another line move and he does complete the hat trick. Poor Aiden Hill. Aiden, Aiden, I'm sorry. It's Why is it spelled like that if it's Aiden? It is time for Mojo to enter the center position for the first line. He'll be playing with Ovi and, of course, the man who I am trying to refuse to move off of this line, Blake Wheeler. With 41 wins so far, it definitely looks like we are playoff bound. Headed to overtime again. Are we going to get another OTL? Oh, there we go, boys. Cheeky little five goals on Samsonov, nonetheless. First period goal from Ovechkin. Second period, TVR gets one and Wheeler gets one in the third, but we still take a 5-4 to four L. We are now down to the last two games of the season. We got the Blue Jackets and the New York Rangers, two Metropolitan teams here. So some pretty big games. I don't actually know where they are in the standings, but nonetheless, I would say that they are important regardless. And we take an... No, we don't take an L. We get one from Ovi, one from Mantha, and one from Klingberg to tie it up here in the third period. And Lars Eller will send us home with a dub. The New York Rangers have 45 wins, so I would say this is a pretty important game, even just to, you know, set the set the tone here going into the playoffs. Blake Wheeler with two goals, and Ovi will get a third period goal. 
That's a nice win for us heading into the loss. Our first round opponent will be the Buffalo Sabres, who I feel like got the better of us in the season. We ended up finishing first with that win against the New York Rangers to end the year, so that was massive. 97 points. We finished seventh in the league, so we got off to a really slow start, but we really picked it up. We snowballed as the season went on, and oh my word, the 19th placed Los Angeles Kings managed to make it in. Ovi led the team. He ended up with 51 goals and 87 points. So what a year from him. Did he win the Rocky Richard? I'm curious. He did. What an absolute mad lad. I'm not really going to look too much into the stats around the league because, you know, there's not much to look at. We already know the other team's rosters. It's not a fantasy draft or anything like that. And we are mostly just focused on our team. We got the Buffalo Sabres here in round one. Let's see if Ovi will get any multi-goal playoff games. In the first game, we get a goal from Vitrano and Shiri. Ooh, that's a big second period for Buffalo and a big third period to shut us out. Game number two, we get a 2-1 lead. Orlov and Wheeler will score. Uh, no, don't you dare. Don't be a repeat. Oh man, it was kind of a repeat. And we got two goals from Ovi. Why? Now we have to change the line. I already know what I'm going to do, but it's going to make the line worse. I have I have had a plan for a while now and he just hasn't had a multi-goal game, but it finally happened. Connor McMichael, 78 overall. What a way to jump in. Your team's down in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Two games to none right now. You're a 21-year-old kid ready to start your career on the Washington Capitals. Now, if Ovi goes on to get a multi-goal game here, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, that's not a good start. Ooh. Well, I mean, we are winning, so that is good. Are you serious? We are on the brink of getting swept by the Buffalo Sabres here in the first round. That's not a good start to this one. Oh my word. We actually got swept. That's outrageous. That did take a while, but it was still pretty fun. And look at that. The Winnipeg Jets without Blake Wheeler go on to win the Stanley Cup. What did we, it was Backstrom, right? We traded Backstrom for Wheeler one for one. Well, Ovi had four goals in the playoffs and no apples. He was a point a game with strictly goals. So a goal a game, I guess you could say. Mark Shifley lit it up with 29 points. Marner had 28, Connor 26, Matthews with 25. Let's have a look at the awards here. So we already knew that President's Trophy. We knew that one. And the Toronto Maple Leafs went on to the Stanley Cup Finals from the East. McDavid gets the Art Ross and the Hart. Hughes with the Norris. McDusty gets the Lady Bing. Bunting gets the Calder. Shifley with the Conn Smythe. Pavel with the Vesna. Jack Campbell gets the William Jennings. The Masterton goes to Graves. McQuaid with the Adams. O'Reilly gets the Selkie. McDavid with the Ted Lindsay. And yours truly, your boy, Alexander Overchicken, gets the Maurice Rocket Richard. Here is the playoff tree, in case you wanted to see it. That's how it all went down. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. That was a bit of a, a stretch stipulation, but a stipulation nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, thank you, and I will see you soon.